Area 5. Uh, more caves. We gotta go to caves. This always reminds me of uh, the Madam Wool episode, so that's another reason why I picked Billy for this stage. Also kind of makes you think of Wizard of Oz because of the green, you know, crystals or whatever in the background. And what I see in the background of those, like, the pillars, it almost looks like two people just stay looking uh, to the green crystals or whatever. So, like, was this an ancient civilization that we discovered, or Rita's trying to steal something? See who the new boss is. Dark Warrior. Even though he's green here and he's supposed to be black. I don't know why they kind of make him green here. You might have thought maybe it was Madame Woe, but no. He, uh, she's actually in the Genesis version of the game. this type of construction. Watch out. You can use those for your advantage. Uh, luckily, if there's some enemies below you. Soda can guy. This guy's a little bit more annoying. Whoa, there goes those putties with the guns again. room that Billy would be really proud to be in. I have no idea what it's for, though. It seems fishy, though. It's just like, what is this? Underground laboratory with some sort of chambers in the background that are purple. Going up. Uh oh. Everyone knows where I am. Ah, ooh, I forgot about the laser beam in the stage. Forgot, totally forgot about that. I 
Hey, at least I get damaged. One of the few games that actually is fair. You can dodge the laser beam by being underneath here. That's why they give you the little gaps over here, but just gotta be careful. I get the freak out of here. Yeah, too bad you guys are gonna die. Not my fault, sorry. I always like doing that. It, just, it shoots you, but it doesn't do anything while you're in the... Oh, that... The move. Oh, yeah, we can't break it until we break these idiots. I'm so close, and I can easily die now, and I'm going to get screwed. Can you guys get closer? Thank you. I'm still going to die. I need a health pack badly. I'm going to do something. All right, got lucky. We're finally at the boss. I just don't understand why it's all this sci-fi stuff. This is Dark Warrior. You just gotta try to cancel out that, ah. The jumping combo. Ooh, good combo. Oof. Hate that. It's the only thing that does, like, the good amount of damage on you. The bomb is not that hard to avoid, but if he does it, he can, when he gets to the second stage, he'll, he'll randomly, he'll randomly drop it, and it gets a little bit more difficult to guess. There, see? Starts doing it a little bit more frequent. Oh, er. Just don't understand why Dark Warrior has so much sci-fi, and he's like the complete opposite of that. It's like some other characters, like maybe I Guy. Even then, that still would be weird. I'm surprised they didn't retreat. Come on. Oh, good dodge. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You're not using your chain. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Really hard with that damn chain. Oh. No, 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 no. No. Ooh. Just don't want to get hit by that chain. Uh, I don't even want to get hit by the bomb. Come on. We're right there. Here is gonna get chain. Oh, a little too close. A little too close. Oh, oh. I don't know, I'm just getting lucky. Ah, so close too. I don't want to restart this. this is a, to me, I always think this is the one of the best bosses in the game because it's strategic both of you are fighting and trying to dodge each other versus like it's a pre-programmed thing where you just move around and then you have to hit them at the right time i think i prefer this type of boss more than the other ones let's go on to the next stage this is the first time we actually get to see the megazord, megazord fight in the show or in the game I don't get why they do it in this weird order. I guess they want to go from bottom to top, so that's why they kind of do it in this order. Well, then again, that kind of breaks the order. Uh, 
All right. I always liked how the Megazord looked like in uh, sprite form. Pretty well done. A couple of colors are wrong, but other than that, it's perfect. Area 6. Yep, we do fight the mutated form of Mutitis. And they do use the energy beams from his horn, which I'm great. Most games forget about Megazord that's able to do that. He's banning power, though. Oof. Yeah, we already have the power, so I wish we had the shield. Oh, yeah, careful. Oof, push me whack. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, dang. Missed him. I forgot that's a short range move. I gotta be careful. He can do his move. Oh. The controls are a bit stiff when you fight in the Megazord because you really can only move and jump, and it's not really much. Again, they're lumbering, they're large monsters in Megazord. So you can't really do much. Yeah, finally got that off. Oh, you can do his ultimate! Ah! Thank God I got him. Let's do the power sword finisher, even though the sword's a little bit too small in that shot. Alright, area cleared. Area 7. Sadly, yeah, Area 6 was just that. And this. Now we fight... Cyclopsis. Although, I know, we're supposed to be on Earth, not on the moon. It's a little bit wrong. But it's funny, because, you know, even though this is a U.S. game, it was not converted from a Japanese, you know, Drew Ranger game, it still says Bendor's Palace. They actually bothered to just do that. If he starts blocking, what I do is I start hitting the feet, and then they'll, he'll keep switching the block tactics. So eventually, you'll be able to break through if they start cheesing you. Oof, careful. He can start cheesing you eventually and get screwed. Finish him! Alright. I didn't lose that much, but he can easily spam me now. Because we're in the corner, he could do that stupid... Ah, he got out. Okay. Try to get him back into the other corner. Don't ever try to, like, try to go back to the other side. Don't. That just opens you up to nonsense. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, he just blocked it. Okay. You can't really block attacks. He could. The only way to dodge him is if you jump backwards. Ooh, I hate that. I hate that. It does massive amounts of damage or it blocks you. Ooh, cool. Got lucky. Doing okay this time. Oh! Flipped over. I'm usually better on the right side than the left. Alright. Yep. 
That is really the end of the game. There are only seven stages, and two of them are Mega Megazord fights. So unfortunately, it's a really short game. I, I find this cutscene kind of funny. It's just like, when did the Rangers ever do this in the show? Never. It always, I always see it as like, are they on an island or something? Because it doesn't even look like Angel Grove at this point. But yeah, they're going into the sunset. They beat every boss. And that was it for this game. I thought it was okay. It's just, it could have been longer. That's why some of the stages are a little bit wonky in the level designs and difficulty. But it's an okay game. But we get to see Zack and we finally get to see the juice bar with Bulk and Skull. And Ernie, but other than that, we really don't see much else of the other characters. I find it cool that it was released in Japan, even though at the time when this came out, the show hadn't been airing that long. And I always wondered what people in Japan thought about this game. What do you guys think about this game? Leave a question in your comments below. I'd like to know. And would you like me to continue on doing more Let's Plays? I will happily get another PR game and suggest ones if you do. Pick which one ever you want and whoever, whichever game gets voted the most, I'll gladly get that one next. I don't have to do them in order. Like, you know, the next game would be the movie version or the fighting edition. Project Power Rangers, I don't even understand what that means. Of course, it's presented by Bandai. The one thing that always stays consistent with all the PR games, they're made by Bandai. And that could be a good thing, and that could be a bad thing. Of course, Rita is not. We never actually killed her, so, you know, they could have easily made a sequel that continued from this point. And they, I just hate that there's no Zordon or Alpha or anything like in between. Something. It's just a little bit, it just needed a little bit more substance to the game. But thanks you for everyone that watched and enjoyed this video.